Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer on Wednesday the 19th of May. Today we are asked to remember Dunstan, Archbishop of Canterbury, restorer of monastic life, who died in 988, Dunstan, Archbishop of Canterbury. So let us pray. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Send your Holy Spirit upon us and clothe us with power from on high. Alleluia. Blessed are you, creator God, to you be praise and glory forever. As your spirit moved over the face of the waters, bringing light and life to your creation, pour out your spirit on us today, that we may walk as children of light, and by your grace reveal your presence. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your infirmities, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with faithful love and compassion, who satisfies you with good things so that your youth is renewed like an eagle's. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He made his way known to Moses and his works to the children of Israel. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom has dominion over all. Bless the Lord, you angels of his, you mighty ones who do his bidding and hearken to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of his who do his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The appointed psalm for this morning is Psalm 29. Psalm 29. The Lord shall give his people the blessing of peace. Ascribe to the Lord, you powers of heaven. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the honour due to his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is upon the mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is mighty in operation. The voice of the Lord is a glorious voice. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedar trees. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon skip like a calf and Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord splits the flash of lightning. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the oak trees writhe and strips the forest bare. In his temple all cry, glory. The Lord sits enthroned above the water flood. The Lord sits enthroned as king forevermore. The Lord shall give strength to his people. The Lord shall give his people the blessing of peace. The Lord shall give his people the blessing of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Reading from Deuteronomy, chapter 31. Then Moses recited the words of this song to the very end, in the hearing of the whole assembly of Israel. Give ear, O heavens, and I will speak. Let the earth hear the words of my mouth. May my teaching drop like the rain, my speech condense like the dew, like gentle rain on grass, like showers on new growth. For I will proclaim the name of the Lord, ascribe greatness to our God. The rock, his work is perfect, and all his ways are just. A faithful God without deceit, just and upright is he. Yet his degenerate children have dealt falsely with him, a perverse and crooked generation. Do you thus repay the Lord, O foolish and senseless people? Is not he your father who created you, who made you and established you? Remember the days of old, consider the years long past. Ask your father and he will inform you, your elders and they will tell you. When the Most High apportioned the nations, when he divided humankind, he fixed the boundaries of the peoples according to the number of the gods. The Lord's own portion was his people, Jacob his allotted share. He sustained him in a desert land, in a howling wilderness waste. He shielded him, cared for him, guarded him as the apple of his eye, as an eagle stirs up its nest and hovers over its young, as it spreads its wings, takes them up and bears them aloft on its pinions. The Lord alone guided him. No foreign God was with him. He set him upon the heights of the land and fed him with the produce of the field. He nursed him with honey from the crags, with oil from flinty rock, curds from the herb from the herd and milk from the flock, with fat of lambs and rams, bashan bulls and goats, together with the choicest meat wheat, you drank fine wine with the blood of grapes. Here ends the first reading. A song of Ezekiel. The spirit of God fills the whole world. Alleluia. I will take you from the nations and <clears throat> gather you from all the countries. I will sprinkle clean water upon you, and you shall be clean from all your uncleannesses. A new heart I will give you, and put a new spirit within you, and I will remove from your body the heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The Spirit of God fills the whole world. Alleluia. Reading from the first letter of John, chapter 3. For this is the message you have heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. We must not be like Cain, who was from the evil one and murdered his brother. Why did he murder him? Because his own deeds were evil and his brother's righteous. Do not be astonished, brothers and sisters, that the world hates you. We know that we have passed from death to life because we love one another. Whoever does not love abides in death. All who hate a brother or sister are murderers, and you know that murderers do not have eternal life abiding in them. We know by this that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for one another. How does God's love abide in anyone who has the world's goods and sees a brother or sister in need and yet refuses to help? Little children, let us love not in word or speech, but in truth and action. By this we will know that we are from the truth and will reassure our hearts before him whenever our hearts condemn us. 
for God is greater than our hearts and he knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have boldness before God and we receive from him whatever we ask because we obey his commandments and do what pleases him. And this is his commandment, that we should believe in the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another, just as he has commanded us. And all who obey his commandments by in him, abide in him, and he abides in them. And by this we will know that he abides in us, by the spirit that he has given us. Here ends our second reading. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle in us the fire of your love. All who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God and fellow heirs with Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people. Renew the face of your creation, Lord, pouring on us the gifts of your Spirit and kindle in us the fire of your love. For the creation waits with eager longing for the glorious liberty of the children of God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle in us the fire of your love. The Benedictus. I will give you shepherds after my own heart who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. I will give you shepherds after my own heart, who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. Alleluia. Let us pray. From well, the beginning of this new day, we pause for a moment to think about what this day holds for us. We think of the plans we may have made, perhaps the meetings that we will be attending, Decisions we will make. Perhaps just the jobs that we want to do and hope to finish by this day. Lord, we pray that whatever this day holds for us, you will bless us in all our activities. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We are aware that many will find this day a particularly difficult time. We pray for those who are struggling in relationships. the breakdown of relationships. We pray for those who struggle with financial pressures, 
for those who have lost businesses through the pandemic, for those trying to reopen their shops, their businesses. Lord, as we walk our streets, as we see people, we never know what burdens, what worries, what cares people have. But we pray, Lord, that people will get a glimpse of you, whatever they may be doing this day, maybe just through our own actions, they can do in us as we strive to live our lives as you would want us to be. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Once again, we see the acts of violence between Israeli and Palestinian. So many years of conflict, of tensions between the two. We pray for all those who strive to broker peace, that they will persevere, and that the leaders of both Israel and Palestine will hear the words and they too will open their hearts to a peaceable future, an end to the hostilities. Lord, we pray for those troubled lands, that your peace can descend upon them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Pray for those who suffer through ill health. We bring to mind in a moment of quiet those who are known especially to us at this time. We hold them in our prayers. We pray for all those who face hospital appointments or treatments, for those who wait for those appointments. We pray for those who work within the medical profession, aware of the continuing pressures on them and on our health service at this time. We pray for those whose earthly journey is coming to a close. For those who will sit with their loved ones this day. For those who watch and wait over them. Lord, may all those for whom we pray know of your presence, of your healing touch. May your love surround them this day and in the days ahead. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our families. We pray for our friends. Lord, wherever they may be this day, whatever they may be doing in their waking hours, we ask you to bless them, keep them safe, as we hold them in our prayers at this moment. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer.
Lord, as we prepare for the day of Pentecost. May we wait as those disciples did in anticipation of the joy of your spirit descending upon them. May we be encouraged, enthused. May we have energy to proclaim your gospel in these days and these weeks ahead. May we never be afraid to proclaim you as Christ, our living God. May we never be embarrassed about our faith. Lord, we pray for our parish at this time. We give thanks for all those who are dedicated to leading the parish, who give their time and their energies. And we ask for a richness of your blessings on all that will happen in your name in this place at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our colleague for this day, almighty God who raised up Dunstan to be a true shepherd of the flock, restorer of monastic life and a faithful counselor to those in authority. Give to all pastors the same gifts of your Holy Spirit, that they may be true servants of Christ and of all his people, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Being made one by the power of the Spirit, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia.